the most rewarding part about bedside nursing is just being able to make those small differences in families' lives. When they come here to Cardinal Glennon, which is a pediatric oncology center, they expect that we are already technical experts in what we do. And the part that puts it over the top for the patient and the family and their experience is the compassion and the education and the small things that can be done with those families and it's a privilege to be able to provide that for them. Jude was diagnosed on October 8th of 2009. I think I reacted somewhat typical of any parent. It's never what you want to hear. It's a life-threatening diagnosis and something that could take your child away from you. We don't know his end outcome and, you know, he should finish treatment in the fall, you know, end of October, end of November, and theoretically he's done, but we never will know if he's done because we don't know if he'll relapse or we don't know what that end outcome is. But the fortunate thing for me is I've worked with so many families who have experienced wonderful life ongoing and also experience death and because of that neither is scary to me because I've seen people deal with relapse and death very gracefully and beautifully and I know I have a strong faith my husband has a strong faith so I don't think the experience in and of itself is as scary to our family as it would be to many others. In our family, we don't want life to revolve around our diagnosis. It's just part of what we are, and it's forever going to be a part of who we are and how we look at things and look at life, but it isn't life, and I think that's a challenge for families to find that in their own families is how to make the disease not be the life but just part of the life.